In this video I'm going to show how to set up a video jump system. In this demonstration I'm going to use the Bob Corson vid jump system and I'm also going to be using the Emmanuel Leone homologation system uh, for the surveying part of it. If you need to create a new element in the Leone system you would just click on element and if you click on new element and then classic then you would go down for just the jump buoys, the jump course buoys, and the jump. You would click on Classic Jump Course. In this particular case, I'm just going to cover the uh, the video jump grid buoys. And so you would just click on Video Jump Buoys. And it will create uh, an element here that has video jump buoys. And it's going to look like this. You'll need to have the uh, settings as homologation mode polar, angle unit, minutes, seconds, degrees, and your baseline is or axis is going to need to be 15 ST to 15 MT. The jump direction is going to be depending on which side of the uh, course the cameras are on and which direction the uh, the skiers are coming from to go over the ramp. Okay, so I've eliminated some of the other grid buoy survey information because I wanted to restrict and just show the one grid. In this case C and D are C is the, uh, the lower right, D is the upper right, G is the lower left, and H is the upper left. And then for the check buoy I've got it placed down here uh, beside the 50 meter line and one of the things you can do is you can click on the sketch icon up here and it will show you, you know the layout of the jump course and with and the grid buoys in relation to it so this is the 15 MT 15 ET that shows up and then the C is the lower right grid buoy D upper right G lower left and H upper left and then the way that the uh, system shows the check buoy is right down the middle and those are the coordinates for that particular buoy. So I'm going to close that out and the other things that will go into this particular uh, element you have to have the ramp coordinates, the inside and outside front corners, the ramp center, and then these are the same numbers that would be in the classic jump course element, and that's the 15ST, 15MT, and 15ET. So what I've done is I've modeled this. I put in to scale a model that has these grid buoys in and with the X and Y coordinates as we get them from the Leone survey. Now the check buoy in this particular case when this uh, survey was done is over on the 19 meter line along with the upper left and upper right buoys. The way the uh, rules read that buoy should actually be kind of like right in the center of the box and it can't be any closer than 8 meters to the center line and that's so that a jumper is never going to land on that. Um, it shows a landing zone, this lavender area, and if you consider the boat would be running a split right down the middle of the boat lane, and you got 23 meters, which is the length of the jump rope, the further the skier lands, or the further the jump, they're going to land up further on the boat, and will be over close to that 23 meters uh, away from the uh, center of the jump lane. So that's kind of a likely scenario for where jumpers are going to land. The further out they go, they're going to go a little bit further to the left and up further on the boat. Now for consideration of how the jumps are measured, it's kind of concentric circles and I'm going to start from the, uh, the center edge of the ramp and you could consider that there's just there is just one circle after another that radiates out from the center of the ramp. And 
if you take a measurement, every distance from the center of the ramp, it doesn't matter where it is on this circle, it's going to be the same. It's going to be 40 meters in this case, and it doesn't matter if it's here, if it's here, or if it's all the way over to the side. It's still going to be 40 meters. But the area where you're actually going to be plotting the distances of jumps is mostly going to be in this lavender area right here. So what we're going to do next is go into the Corson system and we will take this information, the uh, grid coordinates, and we're going to put them into the system, set it up, and see how it checks out. Okay, so we've already covered where to get the X and Y coordinates for the jump grid buoys for the video jump system. And we've also done an overview of how the, uh, the grid is laid out in relation to the, uh, the jump video camera and to the jump and the jump course itself. So I've opened up the Bob Corson uh, vid jump system. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new tournament just real quickly. It's going to be the 2018 TC uh, video. I'm not going to change any of the, uh, the capture results and setup file paths because the computer belongs to the club and I don't want to change that. Jump direction is, in this case, jump right to left. That's going to depend on the configuration you have where you're setting the system up. There are some user preference in terms of message color, marker style, impact marker color. I'm not going to change those. I'm just going to leave them alone. I'm only going to set up one grid. Uh, you would want to check the box for check for line control on. You would not want to check inval allow invalid setup. Uh, that would just allow you to get wrong answers, and we don't want that. At the very bottom, uh, you will probably have a DVR between the, uh, the camera and the, the uh, computer, and you'll be capturing video there, so you don't need to do that on the computer. So that's the general setup on the first page you'll come to. On the next page, there are some other configurations that uh, you would need to do if this has not been set up before. Probably show video configuration in this box right here. And it's going to depend on what video capture card you have in your system. This one has an ATI TV, or TV Wonder Pro. Resolution set to 640 by 480. The color format, the input is a video composite. Uh, compression Microsoft Video 1. And then down at the bottom, the frame rate. We only have one thing coming in, so Having uh, 30 frames per second, it should capture that with no problem. So we're going to leave that set to uh, 30 frames per second. Uh, in terms of going on and setting up the grid, I don't have cameras set up outside. They're in for the winter. So there are some, uh, some jumps on the computer. I'm going to go to view already recorded jump videos. And I know there is one that will go into this grid, and I'm going to go maybe with this one right here, open it, and the buoys show up pretty well. Not the Christmas video, but can see them pretty good. And so I'm going to take this picture right here, and I'm going to use it to, uh, to set up the grid. And so I'll click on this button right here, and yes I do. Alright, so we've got this, the picture. I'm going to drag a couple of things out of the way so I can see the, bu the buoys real clear. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the grid coordinates from the, uh, the Leon system. And it's got two boxes for each buoy and we're going to start out at the upper left. And that's 64.75 and 1904. And then on the upper right, those coordinates were 30.97 and 19.02. And if you remember, everything uh, on the Y direction is going to be over closer to the course and away from the camera. And the Y is going to be negative 
or I'm sorry, be positive on both the upper left and upper right. On the lower left, we've got 44.92 and minus 20.65. For the lower right, we've got 31.7 and minus 20.73. The check buoy, which is actually this buoy right here, is 51.15 and 19.02. And as you can guess, those buoys are all on the 19 meter line for the, uh, the boat lane. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the buoys. And I'll check on the draw buoys box here. And then you have to click on the buoy you want to move and map. So I'm going to start out with the upper left. And I'm going to click somewhere close to it. Then I'm going to use the cursor key to get that dialed in really good on the buoys. Then I'm going to go to the upper right. And that is this buoy right here. A little difficult to see, but that's where it is. And again, use the cursor key. I'm going to go to the lower left, which is going to be this buoy right here. And then to the lower right, which is this buoy right here. And then the check buoy, which I said was this buoy on the 19 meter line. It's actually the 19 ET. And so then what I'm going to do is click on complete. And it says check buoy does not validate, and I'm ever so slightly off. And probably I could move the lower left buoy just a little bit. And we'll try it again. And closer, but not there. So in this particular case, to move along, I am going to move the check buoy just a little bit. One click. And it made it happy. We got the smiley face. So it's pretty sensitive uh, as far as one pixel movement. And uh, you have to be on exactly the right spot on your grid buoys and check buoy. Uh, but it will validate when you get it in exactly the right pixel. And it is very sensitive on that. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the grid. And I've already put a name in here. I'm going to call it TC Video. And we'll just call it uh, Grid. Click OK. Save Grid 1. And so now we have a buoy that can be used for uh, measuring jumps. So we're done at that point with the grid set up. And I'm going to return to the main screen. And I'm going to uh, view already recorded jump videos because, again, I don't have cameras up. And I'm going to measure this same, the same one that we used to uh, set the grid up. I'm going to find the skier. And try to get the best. That's not bad right here. So I'm going to use displayed frame to measure jump. And somewhere about right here. So then I record jump, and 130 feet, that's about where he jumps. So that is pretty close. And if you notice, the system, you mark where the, uh, the first touch of the skis is, which is going to be the tip, the back tips, and hopefully. And then what the system does, it adds 2.1 meters to that point to come up with a distance. And in this case, after they studied a whole lot of jumps, that's pretty exact on uh, where the feet are with this particular jump. It's not always going to be that way, but uh, in this case it does. So in general, that is the way you set the system up, and that is the way you record the jumps. And with that, I think we're uh, done.